Well, hello, good morning, and welcome to Half Bergman. As of yesterday, I've been made aware of an update to the game. Uh, the update would bring it up to version 1.2, which is quite a major update. Unfortunately, and I do mean unfortunately because I would love to get the game updated. It would give us a, a few more things like some rabbits and things. But um, unfortunately, you do need to start a brand new save game to be able to do that. You also lose the microbrewery over there. And you gain a sawmill and some bits and pieces. And I definitely, definitely... I mean, want I want to get to the point where we're making beer. I mean, we've been we've been growing barley for it, and uh, yeah, we definitely want to be doing that. So I'm not going to update the game because the, the, I would not going to update the map. Um, and I know that it's going to make some of you twitch that I'm not running the latest map. But it does mess with a lot of stuff. It does bring a lot of stuff as well to the table, but it does it does delete stuff that we do want that we want to do, we want to get to. Anyway, as you can see here, I am just mucking out the chickens. Well, I've mucked out the chickens. I'm now feeding the chickens. And the ducks. We have got a few ducks. At some point we are going to be taking the um, the older chickens to the butchers but not quite yet it's not something we need to do straight away little duckling down there having the time of his life right I think that will be full enough we shall leave this over here. Uh, do we need any more hay? No, I don't think so. Oh. Although it did just take some of this bale. And it has filled in the gap, so maybe it did. Uh, right then, so... Like I said, that's the chickens sorted. Where's the chickens? There we are. Yep, pretty good. Uh, we've got eggs as well. Um, horses have got everything going for them. Kitten is good. So... So we've given the uh, the pigs their protein food and their health is 100%. So that's really good news. Uh, and the cows are working through their total mixed rations. So, um... Uh, yep, yeah, sheep could use a bale of hay. We do need to clear up the, um, the muck that we've left down here. We also need to muck out the pigs. But... Uh, to start with, I want to get a bale of hay over to the sheep. I say get a bale of hay over there, there's already bales of hay there. In fact, we've got a lot of bales to also pick up off the field. Because we were making hay last time, weren't we? Apologies, the game is a little bit stuttery, but uh, have just updated. So I'm going to spawn two bales. There they are. And let's go open the gate, and then we can move them both in to the trough area. Right. 
There we go. Excuse me, goat. Coming through. You just stay there. I'm going to put this on top, and then it can sit there. Ooh. Or it can fall off. No problem at all. Alright, there's the first one there. And the second one can sit on top of it. Sorry, Mr. Goat. How are we doing for wool? Let's just have a quick look. Ooh. Well, there's quite a lot of wool there. Might have to take that down to the spinnery at some point. We'll have to see how much we're going to get for it. Let's have a quick look at that now, actually, while we're here. Uh, wool, 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 wool. Here it is. And that's going to be May is the best time. Ooh. We're in April. 2322. 227. So, we could quite possibly get that loaded up. In the meantime, it's time to get all the hay bales cleared up off the field and sell any that is a surplus to requirements. So, I'm going to fill up the. Um, I'm going to fill up the storage container and then anything that we've got left over after that we shall sell and we'll use that money to get a um, well to get some firm fix and to get a loading wagon or, or rent a loading wagon to pick up all the grass over there and where's my other grass field? Oh no, it's just, yeah, it's over there and the bit around the potatoes, isn't it? Yep. Oh, looks like there's some weeds in the oak field as well. That'll need to be dealt with. Right. I'd better bring a uh, tractor and flatbed trailer over. So let's use the 390T. Right, I'm going to get on with this. And as soon as we have filled up storage... Then we'll um, we'll see what what we've got left. Okay, so that's... Come on, maths. Uh, 15 bales on the trailer. I need another three on the forks, and then that would be enough to top up the storage, because we're on 12 out of 40 at the minute. So we need 18 to top up the storage. Nope, that's wrong. We're on 12 out of 40. We need blooming 20... 28 to top up the storage, and I haven't got 28. I've only actually got 19 bales, so we're going to have to put these 19 in and keep topping up with more as, as we get it off the field. I don't think it's worth buying it. I think it's much cheaper now that we've got fields of grass and we've got the equipment. It's much, much cheaper to um, create it ourselves. Right, I'm going to take this straight over there in one go. I'm going to go around the road because I think it will be a little less bumpy. Put the beacon on because, well... Uh, yeah, so I need to get some herbicide sprayed on that field there to get rid of the weeds. Um, 
we need to muck out the pigs and the cows. Horses are pretty good. And then we need to go and sell the wool. Or at least load it up to ready to sell in the next episode. When it's actually May. Right then. With the other one, I'll just... Oh, yep, there we go. Drive into it. So... Oh, I left the gates open. Sheep will escape. Close that then. Uh, right, let's go get the 390T. We might be able to just park close with the trailer and they'll get accepted, I don't know. Let's have to see. That's a big load for this trailer though. Big load for this trailer. So barley fields are all fully fully fertilised and herbicides, uh, so that's all good. And um, we need, uh, yeah, we need a loading wagon. We're going to rent a loading wagon to pick up the grass in this field and the grass in the, the potato field. And we can get that into the silage production. That's what I want to do next. We're going to get that all into the silage production. Like a fairly sizable loading wagon. Right, I think what we're going to need to do is to unload it with the... Lo unload it with this and put it in the pile. Um, and then, after we've cleared the grass fields, I want to get some muck spread on it, because we've got plenty and plenty of muck. Need to rent a... a, um... a manure spreader. And we'll get that muck onto the grass fields. And then I, I think that would be a fairly good day's job, uh, day's work there. This is going pretty good. Loading it up nicely. Ooh, and it's all full down. Right, let's just double check I was, oh no, I was r wrong, we've got 40 now. So we've got one bale remaining. Don't know how much we can get for this bale. But it's definitely worth selling it. Uh, let's have a quick look. Hey, uh, it was there, it was there, hey. Yeah, that's it's it's a very poor price. Uh it's gone up a little bit. Uh livestock or feed market and whereabouts is that now? Uh there. Well we might as well take it. Actually. Why are we just taking one bale down there? That's a ridiculous thing to do. Let's um, put it in the feed mixer. That's a better idea. 
actually I think we've got some stuff in the feed mixer that we'll need to empty and then after that oh I'm running out of fuel and then after that we can uh, we can make up another mix with it then. So, next job on the list was a loading wagon. But we also need to get some firm fix. And I think one load of firm fix should do us. So, uh, we want pallets. Firm fix, firm fix, firm fix. Nope. Uh, Fertilizer, exhaust fluid. Not in that one. Not in that one. Not in that one. Hmm. Ah, here we are. Consumer goods. So that's what we want. We're going to buy the firm fix. And then we're going to have to rent a loading wagon. Uh, no, I was going to go for the Stroutman, I think. Though having said that, the Crones are quite big as well, but the Stroutman, I think, is pretty good. Let's have a look and see if I can even afford it. Oh, we do want a side. Oh, I don't have enough money. Crone it is then. Yep, £612. Okay, so. Let's send this guy off to pick up the firm fix. We can we can take the we'll tag off of that. You heading off? And then I'll go and pick up the loading wagon with this. Come on. Sitting there wasting my money. Right. We'll get you to the road. Right. And then we'll give it another go. Target's unreachable. Well, of course it is. Target's unreachable. Must be because you're not quite on the road yet. There. Super. Now. Got to head over and... Oh. You stop there then. I was going to join in behind you, but that's fine. I'll go first. I'll uh, I'll see you over at the store where we'll get the firm fix and we'll get the, the loading wagon. We're going to put it in the uh, silage production unit. We'll put everything in the silage production unit. Alright, here we are then. We have the firm fix. And voila! Probably try and pick this up a little bit better now. That's better. Have to get it off the other end with the telehandler, but that'll give us an excuse to take it round and fuel it. So. Come on. 
There we go. Lovely. Alright, I'm just going to leave this here because pff, it's not mine. Uh, there we go. You, sir, need to go to here. Of course it is. How about we try now? Okay, looks like I'll have to do this manually. Right, I will take this back. In fact, what I can do is I can send this one back to here. And then he'll be ready to start picking it, picking up the grass while I take this and put it, well, I suppose get it emptied into the um, silage production unit. Right, there we go. Put it into the right place. It's now emptying. Don't know how much it's going to take, but we'll leave this here anyway. Now we're going to jump over to... Here we go. Now we can fire it up and start collecting the grass. Right, I'm going to time, time lapse this, get it into the fermenter, and uh, and then we'll go from there. We'll have a look and see how the production works. Oh, it looks like the potatoes need uh, herbicide as well. Better get on that. Probably some fertilizer too. Actually, while we're here, let's quickly have a look. Oh, that's automatically started it. Silage production. Here we go. So we've got chaff and we've got fixed firm active. And it's producing silage quite quickly. Right, we better go get some more chaff. So there was a lot more grass there than I first thought, which, don't get me wrong, is a brilliant thing. And uh, what it means is we're going to have some silage to sell soon and we're going to need it because we've got to rent a manure spreader 
and I think by the time we've sold the wool we should have a, a fair amount to put into a trailer and take it for sale but yeah we need to um, rent a manure spreader and uh, we've got other things bits and pieces we need to rent as well haven't we so I think we'll top this up here we'll see how it's getting on and then we'll take the 390T and the flatbed trailer to load it up with wool and go sell that at the spinnery. So, are we too far over? Let's try that again. There we go. So, silage production. Okay, so we've produced 3,579 litres in that short amount of time there. We're doing okay. Yep, we are doing okay. So... Let's go and get the wool loaded up. The thing I love about Hof Bergman is, is, is there's always a job to do. No matter how many days you put in a month or anything like that, there's always a job to do. For example, I've still got apples in the orchard that need collecting and selling. I've got well, the wool that we're doing now. We could be making more flour and more bread. And we haven't even like, scratched the surface yet. There's still a vineyard where we'd have to harvest the grapes and make wine and yeah it's just unbelievable okay all right can't move the straw ah oh i can move the straw there we go oh 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 wool is bouncy Right, next one. Struggling to see where it is trying to accept the wool. It says wool is not accepted here, but... Oh, the goats aren't going to have their wool back, are they? Oh. I think, actually, that straw is... Well, was close enough... Uh, yes, it is. It was close enough that the... Um, it was being taken by the the goat pasture. How are we doing for goat milk? Uh, 152 litres, so not a lot at all. We did empty it fairly recently, I suppose. Ooh, I wonder if we could we uh, go check on the butter and cheese and go take that at the same time. Because that can go on top of these this wool. Or even behind it. There. We shift the wool up. There we go. Now let's go and get the butter and cheese. Wow, we've got a lot. Uh, okay, so let's pull it forward a bit so we can get to the back of the trailer. There we go. 
Well, this is going to be quite a bit of uh, income, and this was going to fund our manure spreader. Might even be able to buy a manure spreader. How about that? That would be a little bit amazing, wouldn't it? I know wool isn't except here. I'd like to be able to get rid of those messages. Mostly for uh, survival roleplay purposes. But I don't think there's any way you actually can. Right, so we're all fully loaded. Uh, where is the best place to sell the cheese, the goat's cheese and the butter? So butter would be the uh, village shop. Cheese is okay at the village shop. Goat's cheese, definitely village shop. And the wool is at the spinnery, which is, ah, up there. Oh, it's a place we haven't been before, then. Right then, well, let's go to the spinnery first. And then we'll pop down the village shop. Once we've got all of these things sold, we'll have a look at the sales. See if we can figure out what we're going to do in terms of a uh, yeah, what we're going to do in terms of a uh, much better because we really, ideally, need to get muck on the fields today before they start growing again. And then next time, we can start spraying the other crops. Right, here we are at the spinnery. I don't believe that there's... Anyway, we'll just check around the back, but I don't think this is a production point. I think it's literally a sell point for the wool. And probably cotton as well. Maybe uh, one day it'll be a production point, but now it's not. It's just a sell point for the wool, so get that wool sold. There we go. Well, we made 4,385 from that, which is absolutely pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with that. And now it's time to head down to the village shop to see how much we can make from the cheese and the butter. Right, so all the other times I've chucked the stuff in the front door, I think this time we're going to head round the back and we're going to sell it wholesale. Yep, that's working beautifully. It's just the one bit of cheese on its side that isn't selling. There we go. All gone. So, that was over £20,000 there. Which is absolutely magical. Right, I am not going to be using the muck spreader on this tractor. It's going to have to be 3115. So we'll take this trailer back and we'll then have a look at the, the store, both in the sales and to see if we can rent one because I don't think we'll be buying one with the £26,000 we've got here okay so I am going to keep the loading wagon uh, because I think that there's a good chance that we're going to be um, using that Right then, what's in the sale? What have we got? Oh, there's a nice rice trailer. Ooh. Vent baler. That's a bit much. And a Marshall spreader. We've already got a spreader. Uh, slurry spreader, that is. 
So we need a manure spreader. Now, there are some fairly decent ones like this one. Hmm. I see that one can use compost as well. Don't think we need it for compost. That's a pretty good one. Spread a system. Go upper class of spread a system. We get 15 meters instead of 8 meters. I think for us, 8 meters is going to be plenty. And we're only leasing it anyway. 1,708 pounds. Well, let's go get it. Then we can load it up and we can get all the grass fields covered. I'm going to time lapse this from now because I know it's been quite a long episode so far already. And we really need to get this done. much better on a helper we're just gonna refuel this the helper is getting the muck from the muck heap so let's just jump out and see how we're doing over here oh Manuela has stopped work unexpectedly the tank is empty Uh, well, silage, we've got 13,000. I think we're going to have to leave that overnight. How is the tank empty? It's still... <sighs> tank isn't empty at all. Don't understand. Because the manure pit's not empty. Right then, so yes, that's going to be fermenting silage for us. We've now got a full tank of fuel in this. Yeah, look. I mean, we could use manure straight from the pigs and the cow trough. In fact, this isn't going down now, so... That's not going down. So what is going down? What's what's it using? Oh, nothing currently. That's why. Oh, tank is empty again. Okay, well, looks like we're going to have to continue because they cannot organise a piss up in a brewery. I believe is the phrase.
Okay. Well, that was a busy day. A very busy day. And I think that's, that's pretty much done for the day. I will just feed the cows because, uh, well, they probably need it. Uh, yeah, they've only got 3,000 litres of food left. Uh, have I got anything in here? 702 litres. So I will feed the cows, but I'm not, I'll am not. i do that off camera. So, um, yep, yeah, it was... It's, it's been emotional. I think we've done pretty well today. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.